Welcome to the Badger Bowl, hosting the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide Season 2 Finale. Remember to book your next wedding reception here at Badger Bowl, the premier banquet and catering hall in Madison, Wisconsin. Let's get to the show. You give, I take, you bend, I break. Welcome to the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide Season 2 Finale. I'm Brendan with Be Cool Entertainment. These brides behind us here have been traveling around central Wisconsin all summer long, competing and taking each other on to all the different wedding vendors, finding out some information. So we're going to find out who wins this grand finale here tonight. Take it away, John. Thank you, Brendan. And now, we're going to dive a little into the history of these ladies' experiences past summer in the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide Season 2. We're going to find out their history of how they met, how they were proposed to, what they fear the most, and their whole experience throughout this whole process. Julie, we'll start with you. How did your fiancé pop the question to you? I'll start the story. My grandpa was 94 and he was starting to get sick and I had gone to visit him on a Thursday. And um, he grew up speaking Polish so he was uh, kind of reverting and speaking only Polish that day when I visited him. He was a little confused. And at one time he was holding my hand and he grabbed my ring finger and he said, Juby, no ring yet? And then a few minutes later he reverted back to speaking Polish. And my grandma and my uncle were all there and I was like, nope, thanks grandpa, still don't have a ring. But, you know, it was interesting how he said it. And I told Mark the story and I had to work all weekend. And I got a call on Sunday that my grandpa wasn't doing well, and um, he was on a hospice at that point, and we, um, that my family called and said I should probably come visit. So I called Mark on my way home, and I said, Grandpa's not doing good, and we should go home. When I got home, I was on the phone in my car to my sister, and Mark kept peeking out the garage, and I was like, gosh, I did it like three times. Like, what does he want? I'm, give me a second. And um, I walked in, and he had dinner made, and he wrote, I love you, on a plate. And he's like, sit down, relax. And um, he sat down, he got down on one knee and said, talked about how my grandparents were married 72 years. And um, that's pretty lucky for our family. And for anybody, we can only be blessed to live 72 years, more or less be married to one person for 72 years. And um, he told us how, told me how that was really special to him and he hoped that we could aim for that. And he got down on one knee and proposed. And um, it was really special. It was special to us. Um, and then we got to go home to visit my grandpa. And uh, he got to hold the ring. And I got to let him feel that there was a ring on my finger. And then he passed away the next day. So it was, I'm crying a little bit. It was, it was special to us. It was very special. That is a very special story. <laughs> Amy, we'll start with you next. How did Timothy pop the question to you? Well, that day was already a very chaotic day. Um, my brother had just recently gotten hurt at Whitewater where he went to school. Um, a, he was lifting weights and the uh, barbell fell right on his face. So already I was having a very, very bad day, freaking out, worrying about my brother. I finally get home after a long day's of work also and sit down on the couch, Timothy's just putzing around on the computer, and he's like, looks over at me and he says, I think we should do it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I think we should get married. And I'm like, already, like I said, I had a long, long day, so I was exhausted. I immediately perked up and I'm like, 
really? Are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And then five minutes later, he started telling everybody. So, yeah, that was like the most tragic and awesomest day of my life. So. Thank you. And that as well as another unique story from our, one of our Ultimate Pride Survival Guide finalists. Emily, we'll start with you next. How did your fiance pop the question? Brian and I uh, went on his spring break. Uh, he's in vet school at the university here. So on his spring break last year, we went down to Florida um, for a vacation from the horrible Wisconsin <laughs> winter. And um, we went out to eat one night at this great rooftop restaurant and watched the sunset. And then we went back to the condo and it was a great view um, overlooking the ocean and he asked if I wanted to go for a walk and it was late at night and so we went for a walk on the beach and he asked oh do you want to sit down and look at the stars and so we sat there and we uh, looked at the stars and then I was getting cold so I got up and I started doing cartwheels in the sand <laughs> and he kept he was acting kind of odd and he kept saying Emily do you want to come sit back down here I was trying to talk to you about something and I said oh okay I, I guess I'll sit back down so then I sat, sat back down and then um, he kind of tricked me and said oh well do you want to head back now you seem like you are really cold and I said okay and I was sitting in the sand and he was sitting in the sand and he kind of looked at me and he's like well are you going to get up and I said well aren't you going to help me up <laughs> and he said no I don't think so so I was kind of upset and I stood up and then I grabbed his hands and he's like well why don't you help me up and I said okay so then I went to grab his hands and then he just got onto one knee and then he asked me so I was very surprised and it was a really great memory and that's a great story as well. Thank you for that. I am getting a little nervous for them. Um, with the process that they had this summer, it's very exciting to see what's going to come of it. Um, they all did great on the shows. I was watching every episode. And um, it's great to see just how into it they got. So I'm very excited for them and hope they, uh, you know, get excited for their actual weddings coming up. It's a big deal. This is a big deal for brides that, for these three girls, um, no matter which place they end up in it's definitely going to help them with their wedding and they were able to get a lot of good planning resources throughout this process so I am I'm excited for them this is very exciting we've watched them throughout the process they've they've had to really put themselves out there none of them were actresses um, they've had to answer hard questions uh, they've spent a lot of time and hours and um, the competition is really I think very close and tough, and I'm just going to be happy for whichever one wins. They all deserve it. Amy, we'll start with you next. What's a favorite part of being a part of the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide Season 2? I'd have to say the best part about being a part of this entire experience was just honestly going to each vendor, finally getting a chance to sit down and talk with people about my wedding and really get some concrete ideas of what I want and what they have to offer. And that was just so much nicer than trying to sit here and do it all myself and try to plan the entire wedding myself. So now that I have this experience, I've got my ducks in a row. So this has made my life so much easier, even though I had to wake up way too darn early. It was a great experience. Um, it was our first time in it this year, so it was really cool to see how many girls came out for it and were really into trying to get that coveted spot of the finalists. So um, I had a blast meeting all three of them, coming into the shop and shooting their um, tastings. It was really fun to see how into it they got with, like, you know, just really asking the questions they needed to ask. So it was good to be there to be their sounding board. I loved it. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking at first with the cameras, but once we started um, talking with the brides, it just you just forget that they're there. And it's just like any other conversation that you'd have with the bride, you to learn about um, how they met with their fiance and what they want for their wedding and what they're hoping for and thinking of. So it's a lot of fun. and. It was a lot of fun meeting the Fox 47 crew as well, so. <laughs> it was wonderful. I mean, the staff here at Fox 47 were so professional, so friendly, and they made everything easy for us. We were nervous. We aren't performers in that sense of the word, but 
but they relaxed us, and when we flubbed, they let us do it over. It was a wonderful experience. I found it very difficult. Uh, I was a teacher for 27 years. I've done a lot of speaking. I'm uh, an officiant, a wedding ceremony officiant. I've been doing that since 97, and yet talking into a camera is is difficult for me. Um, but it was it's been real fun, and I've learned a lot. Emily. What's the favorite part of your experience with the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide Season 2? Um, I'll have to agree with Amy. I think my favorite part was meeting with all the different vendors. Um, a lot of them might have been ones that I would have never met with before or I wouldn't have known, so I think that was really great. I think it'll be very beneficial to planning mine and Brian's wedding. Um, we're very busy people, and so I think any help um, that can be given to us for our big day next year is greatly appreciated and I've just been so impressed with all the vendors and the lineup um, that Fox 47 has provided for this competition. Um, they're just all very talented. I was just so impressed with their professionalism and I feel very fortunate that I was able to meet with so many of them for my and Brian's big day. So I guess for brides and grooms out there that are currently planning their, their big days, um, I would have a couple of tips for them. Uh, one, while they're planning their wedding, just keep in mind that your guests aren't really going to know whether or not um, something worked out or it didn't. Uh, if you didn't get the venue that you originally wanted or the flower colors aren't going to be available for you, your guests aren't going to know. So don't stress too much. Just enjoy the process. Um, on the big day, just make sure to take a couple moments to breathe, look around, and take in um, a couple of memories for yourself. Otherwise, the day will go by really quickly. You know, the brides and grooms should look at those people that they're going to be working with that day, their wedding coordinator, their photographer, their officiant, their caterer, and connect with them and find out, get a personal relationship with them and be able to say that morning, I'm turning this over to these professionals and let them do the job so they can just sit back and enjoy the wedding. Just be yourself. Um, make it about you guys. Um, don't worry about your families. Don't worry about your friends that are coming. Make it something that you guys are going to enjoy because in the end, the memories are going to be yours. Everyone else will remember it too, but you want to make sure you do things for yourself and not pick things that other people are going to like. Everyone's going to like it because they're there for you. Um, just have a great time, smile, and enjoy the company you guys um, have brought to your wedding. Julie, what was your favorite part of this whole Ultimate Bride experience? Again, I'd have to agree with the girls. It it was nice to help. Sh I'm not much of a shopper, so to actually have vendors presented to me and I got to ask them the questions made it so much easier than zigzagging through the, the wedding um, industry. It, you know, there's so many options, and I felt like they presented the best options out there in the Madison area, so it just made, a, made it easier. It narrowed it, everything down that... I can kind of just go through and probably and call everybody back. Everybody was great. I was impressed with everything, and it just I feel relieved. I feel relieved that over five months I got to meet such great vendors and great people that I don't have to stress. I didn't feel stressed. A lot of the girls I'm working with right now are getting married, and they're picking different things. And I started to panic like maybe I I should be more stressed, or and I just felt like at ease because I know that I've been presented with so many great people. I was really excited when they chose the top three uh, at the shower. That was, it was so much fun and all of them did a good job with the toilet paper dresses and, and uh, singing the karaoke. It was so much fun, but the excitement was really high when they announced the winners and I can only imagine how high it's going to be when the ultimate one is chosen. I had a great time and I really wouldn't change, change too much. Um, I had fun with it and I think you got to see that. I don't really like to go back and play the like, what would you change game. I'm happy with the experience with how it was. I loved the shower. I thought it was awesome with all the games and being able to meet all the other vendors. Um, the girls just were super um, intense with making sure they got as many points as they could. The um, dancing that they were doing with the dresses and the conga line and then the um, the karaoke at the end was a really, really fun thing to see who really shined and really was not scared to put themselves out there. I would have definitely changed the time that I would have been available to go to these shoots. It started 
immediately after I got done with my overnight shift that I would go straight on to doing these video shoots and so most of the time I was pretty exhausted. I did love meeting with the girls, don't get me wrong, but I think one of my favorite memories was at the bridal shower, the competition for to decide who um, the three girls were and when they did the toilet paper dress portion, the game, um, and I believe it was Emily's friend that came with her, he got dressed up, he got dressed up as the, the bride in the, the toilet paper, so that was very, it was a good time and a lot of fun. All right, and we're back. I'm Eric with Savvy Entertainment, Piano Fondue, Dueling Pianos. All right, ladies, we're getting close to this final reveal. How are we feeling today? Amy? At this point, I'm pretty nervous. Uh, kind of would like to get on with the show so that way I know exactly what's going on so I can stop freaking out and know where I stand and have a little bit of control over any kind of situation at the moment because there is no control. Emily? I'm really excited. Uh, I don't do well with anticipation, so the anticipation is kind of wearing on my nerves. Um, also, I've had this like in my calendar for a while, the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide finale taping, and I really like checking things off of my checklist, so this will be a really good check to make, <laughs> I think, when we're done with this, and then continue on with uh, the wedding planning process. Awesome. And Julie? I'm really ready to have this done. It, it's been a long five months. It's been fun, and uh, I'm just happy for everybody. I think it's a great experience, and uh, it was good getting to know everybody, so... Let's get it rolling. All right. So we just got a few more questions for you, ladies. Just a few more. What would this mean to you if you were to win today? Emily? It would mean a lot to me to win today. It would mean a lot to both Brian and I. Um, we have the support of our family and friends um, from everything that we do, and they've been supporting us through this whole process, too, in voting. Um, so it would really mean a lot to me. It would really make an impact on our wedding day uh, and definitely make it a lot more fun and enjoyable to work with some of these vendors. Wow, that was a great answer. How about you, Julie? I'm, I'm really, uh, it would mean a lot. It, it would just show the support that my friends and family have, have given us through this process and um, I think they'd be excited as excited as I am. So I think their anticipation level is, is getting ex kind of up there too. So it would just mean a lot to all of us. And one last question here for Amy, same thing. I'm kind of excited and yet still kind of worried because I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go, but I know my friends and family have been paying very close attention. We've been having little mini bridal survival parties at my house, just watching them and laughing and telling everybody at school, telling everybody that I can vote, vote, vote. I mean, short of giving out flyers, I don't know what else I could have done. That was awesome. Good luck, ladies. We're going to send it back over to John, and we're going to find out who our winner is. Welcome back. All this adventure, ladies, the whole summer, all the anticipations leading up to this moment. Can't thank you enough for participating in Season 2 of Ultimate Bride Survival Guide. Once again, I want to thank you all for participating. I know it's been a great adventure leading up to this moment. Third place runner-up is Amy. Good luck. Thank Congrats. you. Congrats. Woohoo! Okay, we're down to our two finalists. Your entire summer boils down to this moment, ladies. Which one will it be? One of you will become the season two winner of the Ultimate Bride Survival Guide. What are you thinking? Julie? I think we're just ready to be, be done with this. I think this has been a process, uh, five months in waiting, so um, we got to meet meet each other, meet great people, and bonds. We're just ready to be done. Emily, what are your thoughts? Same with Julie. Ready. <laughs> so you're ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you ready? Yes. Season two, runner-up, the Ultimate Five Survival Guide is Emily. I really see you. I'm so happy to see you. Thanks.
<laughs> Timothy had me enter it the day before the cutoff, and this is where I sit now. Yeah, it's been an amazing adventure. Awesome. I won. And darn it, I didn't win first or second, but that's okay. Because you know what? No matter what, I knew I was going to win something. And just being here was with those three or two other gals are just awesome. My first step is I've already been talking to the officiants. And other than that, I also need to call up my DJs and a couple more of the vendors and actually get the ball rolling so that way everybody knows the date, everybody knows the time, and we can all get this synchronized. There are a lot of good websites that will help you out. There's a lot of good different tips online that will help keep you in line because there are different things you need to do at different times, especially making sure you get the save the dates out, the invitations out, make sure you obviously get your dress, and make sure everyone knows what's going on so that way, and also know what your budget is. Because if your budget is not as high and you can't afford the golden carriage, then well, you know, you got to cut some corners and figure out exactly what you need to do. The only thing I would change differently is tell you guys, um, why don't we start in the afternoon? <laughs> That's the only thing I would have changed. I feel very, very happy and excited uh, to win second place. There are some great prizes that I won um, that I definitely need for my wedding, so I'm really excited uh, to continue planning uh, our big day. Um, I want to give a special thank you to my friends and family who voted. Um, I know they spent a lot of time and energy voting. Um, I specifically we want to thank Brian um, through all this, um, my mom and my aunt who came here today to support me during the shoot, and also my friend Tyson who was the one who went to the original shower at Black Hawk Country Club with me to help me win a spot on the show. I want to congratulate Julie on winning. I'm so happy for her. It's been really great getting to know her um, through this process. She's a great person, um, so I know her and Mark will definitely make the most of their first place prize in planning their wedding. Um, I couldn't have asked for more from this experience. It was really fun. I won some great stuff for my wedding. Um, I guess that's all I can ask for, right? I was thinking that I would definitely have been happy with either prize. The things that I really had my eyes on were uh, limo services, which were in both prize packages, uplighting and photo booths, which I think are in both, and also um, money off of bridesmaid dresses. Those are all things I need, so I got all of them. So, like I said, I really couldn't be happier. Um, and let the planning continue, I guess. My first step is to probably start looking at what I actually won because I don't really know everything that I won, so I'm really excited to open up the envelope and see what's all in here. I only know a few of the things. Um, and then I'll probably try to book my the limo services and pick out some bridesmaid dresses um, and do those types of things, you know, in between work and studying and everything else that I have going on. It's fun to take breaks and do some wedding planning. I would just say to not sweat the small stuff. Um, weddings always end up being perfect. Um, it's really just about you and the person that you're marrying and celebrating with your family and friends. And so I guess if you have the ability to do that, it doesn't really matter what else happens um, because it's really just about that day and about the two of you. So I just am looking forward to uh, mine and Brian's special day. And uh, we already have so much support from friends and family through this whole process, through our relationship, and uh, for a wedding that's still, I guess, not quite a year away now. Um, so I just feel really grateful um, to have win, won some stuff for our special day. And again, our family and friends are phenomenal. If I had the option to participate in this, I definitely would. Um, it was fun. I met with some vendors that I definitely otherwise may not have met. Um, so I feel very fortunate. Um, to have met with some of them. It was a good experience. Um, I didn't know much about shooting television being a nurse, <laughs> so I definitely picked up some things there. And if anything, like I said, I think it might help me with my nerves and easing my nerves on our big day when there's 200 people staring at me <laughs> in front of the altar with Brian. So. Uh, it was a great experience. It was fun. Um, the crew made everything really easy for us. Um, they were fun. They kept things light, um, which made our job a lot easier. So it was a great experience. I'm in shock. I feel like I did when I, at the shower when I actually won that too. 
so I didn't think I was going to make the top three, and then to win it all, I just feel kind of blessed. Grateful to all you guys for the great summer that we had and the vendors. I didn't know what to think. Like, either way, I was going to be happy if I won. I mean, this was a great experience and a blessing no matter what, what prize I got. Um, but I had sweaty palms. That's why Emily and I couldn't hold hands, because we both had said we had sweaty palms and we were nervous. My first step is actually call the vendors and just book. And then I feel like my wedding's planned already. Like, I I don't have much else to do, so I'm just ready to, to get these couple months done and just kind of relax and, and be done with it. Um, I'm excited for the wedding, of course, and I don't want to be done with it, but I just, I, I, again, maybe I'm a checkmark list kind of maker, but I'm just ready to get my check marks done and enjoy enjoy the process. I My first tip is watch for a contest, and if Fox 47 does it again next year, uh, join, because my friend sent me a link two days before, I think, the deadline, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to do this. Like, I'll never win anything. Why sign up? And here I am. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two is just enjoy the process and um, and just relax through it because it can be overwhelming. Um, I feel like nowadays with Pinterest and all these things out there, like you, they make you feel like you, if you don't do it, your wedding will be horrible. But it's your wedding day, so whatever happens, happens. And if, if things don't work out, you know, flowers don't it start to droop or anything. It doesn't matter. You're getting married that day. So we'd like to give a big thank you to Badger Bowl for hosting the finale, and another big shout out to our DJ entertainment companies, Be Cool Entertainment, Celebrations Entertainment, and Savvy Entertainment. Without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you. The white flame is awesome. And as I got to take a nap in it again, which is awesome. Because driving around, although, you know, it needs better air conditioning. But, you know, I'm not going to complain because my car doesn't have air conditioning. And I just think that the white flame needs something a little bit more pizzazz to it because it's just it needs that flair it needs that pizzazz going on because you know maybe fox written in flames or something you know just to show that this is more than just a white van that nobody would notice and but it's great that way also because it's so very incognito if the white flame was an animal it would be a honey badger because it don't care I think I think that the white flame should be the white stallion, that's what I think. I think it's too classy and I think the white stallion really kind of like brings it into a new light. So I might start referring to it as the white stallion. How about thrilling, because that's how I feel like when I'm riding in the back of it, thrilled.